One of the Canadian Forces members killed in that helicopter crash off the coast of Greece will be returning home today. A funeral procession for Sub-Lieutenant Abigail Cobra, one of the six who died when that helicopter went down in the Ionian Sea. She was just 23. A funeral procession will be held in Nova Scotia today. Brett Ruskin is on the story. He is, in fact, right along the route that funeral procession will take with more on the plans. Brett. Well, the plan, Heather, is for this funeral procession to begin at 6 o'clock tonight at the Halifax Stanfield International Airport. It'll head down one of the major highways here in the province, and we're already hearing about people who are planning to line the overpasses to pay their respects to Sub-Lieutenant Abigail Cobra. Now, when it comes into the city, it's going to be coming down uh, this roadway here in front of the colorful building, down uh, this hill, and around the corner here to HMCS or HMC Halifax, the dog yard here. This is the area from which HMCS Fredericton left on January 20th for its six-month deployment. Sub-Lieutenant Cobra was on the ship for that deployment. Again, uh, the crash happened on April 29th. Now, from here, the procession is going to be moving down under that green bridge you see off in the distance to the north end of the city, across the harbour to Dartmouth, to a cemetery there, which will be the final resting place for Sub-Lieutenant Cobra. Heather. Sub-Lieutenant Abigail Cobra was the first victim uh, we have identified in all of this, Brett, but we are getting some word this morning of uh, a second as well. A second as well, and, and that was uh, now confirmed via DNA testing that uh, it, the, that it was... Um, that uh, Captain Brendan Ian McDonald uh, was found uh, as part of the, the, the recovery efforts that searchers were undertaking. So uh, there was uncertainty as to uh, which one of the people who were aboard the helicopter were found, uh, but thanks to DNA testing, the military was able to alert families that uh, the identity had been confirmed. And then uh, late last night, they shared that information and made it public that it was, in fact, Captain Brendan Ian McDonald who had been found as part of the search efforts in this helicopter crash. Again, the four other people who were on that helicopter are still missing and presumed to have died, and the investigation obviously still underway to determine why this helicopter crashed. Heather. Brett, thank you very much. Brett Ruskin is in Halifax, and we will have live coverage of all of that later on this afternoon.